Let's start this market update with China's property sector, which over the past two years has been thrust into a severe debt crisis, initially triggered by government moves to rein in ballooning debt, with many developers defaulting on payments as they struggle to sell apartments and raise funds. Stimulus can only do so much given the acceleration in the economy's structural slowdown. This isn't likely to cause a complete crash in the economy, but it will be a persistent drag on our economic growth as a sector, which represents 25% of the economy, has been used as a lever to spur economic growth over the last few decades. Overall, the economic picture looks grim. Bank loans plunged to a 14-year low last month, while deflation is setting in and exports are contracting. One of China's largest property developers at risk of default and a financial conglomerate with 138 billion under management missed payments on investment products, stoking fears about possible contagion. We do see a blow up as unlikely, but if one does occur, it is likely to be supportive for Bitcoin as it would likely spread to the financial sector. Looking at the US, retail sales were above expectations across the board, so not just to do with rising gasoline prices. Interestingly, futures pricing for a rate hike in September didn't budge, with a consensus still for a no rate hike. Rate cuts look to be shifting to later than early 2024, though. Tighter credit conditions do correlate with retail sales, so their recent deterioration is likely to pull down retail sales. US recession probability remains high, but has fallen from 65% to 60%. This is based on an aggregation of forecasts. Yield curve indicators suggest a 68% probability of recession. So while the soft landing view is gathering pace, consensus is still very much for a recession in the coming year. It's very quiet on the crypto front. 30 day volatility is at 17%, matching the lowest on record now. Volumes are slowing down, averaging $2.3 billion a day versus $2.8 billion the prior week. The yearly average now sits at $7 billion a day. That's it for this week. Follow CoinShares for more insights.